How are we doing, everybody? We got a little bit of time. Uh, we're probably going to have a lot of time. That's why I wanted to do this. We're turning the truck into Freightliner here in, in L.A. And, you know, I'm, I'm glad we're going to be here for a few days, you know, because the weather, you can't beat it. But uh, we just came from two days off to take care of some personal business. And now it's it's probably going to turn into five days. So I don't, I don't, I don't need to tell you that it's going to hurt us money-wise. But, you know, hey, this is one of the reasons why we don't have a home. We don't, we don't have an apartment or a home, you know. We live in our truck. All of our mail goes to my, my aunt in uh, Vegas. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys all my equipment all at once so that it can give you an idea of whether or not you want to get this stuff or any of this stuff. One of these items, two of these items, whatever. You know what I mean? This is what I have. The first, the first th uh, set of stuff that I'm going to show you is my go-to stuff that I use constantly. I use this all the time, and then I'll talk about the stuff that I don't use as much, but I do like to use it from time to time. Okay. Sledgehammer. Enough said there. Now these next items, I use them all in the truck. Burn machine, you can use this in the truck. Kettlebells, in the truck. Medicine ball, you can use it in the truck, but not to the, the full ability. You know what I mean? You need, you need hard ground. I can't be slamming this inside the truck. Uh, I do use it on the upper bunk a little bit, but usually I'm just kind of like warming up with it inside the truck. You know what I mean? And then these are my 15 pounders. I, uh, some of you might say like, Joe, it seems like a, a, a light weight, you know? Uh, I'm not trying to get big muscles anymore. Those days are gone. I just try to keep what I got. And you'll be surprised if you, if you weight train correctly, which most people don't, don't know how to do. You don't need a lot of weight. When it comes to, when you're talking bodybuilding, okay, you, so many people uh, think they're bodybuilding, but they're actually powerlifting, okay? Bodybuilding is this. Nice and slow, making the muscle do the work, okay? That's what, that's what shaping a muscle is. That's what's, that's what's giving your body shape, is true bodybuilding. True bodybuilding is not, you know, big weights where you're, blah, blah, you know? It's not. It, it's a technique you use as a bodybuilder from time to time, but most of the time it's nice and smooth, man. Nice and smooth. All right? You got to have a mat. There's a whole bunch out there. Look, we all know what drivers like to do at truck stops, okay? You got to have a mat so when you do your push-ups, you do your sit-ups or whatever, right? You know what I mean? Enough said there, okay? Plus, uh, you know, when I use my roller, when I use my rollers, you know, this one I can do in the truck, no problem. I can do a little bit of this with my calves in the truck, but when I need to get my back, I've got to be on the ground outside, so you definitely got to have a mat, okay? So these are the items that I use on a regular basis, all the time, week in and week out. Now, there is another item that I want to get too. It's a, it's a medicine, it's a rope and medicine ball. Uh, enough said there, right? It's a medicine ball on a rope. Uh, you know, it's attached inside somehow. I don't know, <coughs> but uh, that seems like fun, you know. I, the more variety of stuff that you have, the less likely you are to get bored. I've been exercising all my life, as you guys know. <coughs> Excuse me. The more items that I have, the, le the less likely I am to get bored. You know, I've got to have variety, okay? All right, here we go down here. These are my wife's kettlebells. You see all the dust on them? That's because she doesn't use them a lot. <laughs> but I love her. You know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. And, and it doesn't matter who you're married to. You have to decide up here yourself to do something about your health, you know. But she does, she does know that we have an understanding. The first time a doctor says something to her, like, you know, you need to stop drinking the, the soda you drink and you need to start exercising, guess who's going to stop drinking soda and start exercising, right? See, I can't force her to do it. But the first time a doctor says that my wife's in bad health, guess what? My wife's changing, period. And, uh, okay, you guys have seen this before. I don't use this that often, but uh, I do use it from time to time. Uh, and then I, I, do, I do do some power lifting over here, okay? I've got two 25-pounders inside. 
I don't want to pull them out because they're kind of buried like some of my stuff. All that stuff over there is easy to get to. Uh, the stuff I'm talking, th th this stuff right here, my barbell, it's kind of hard to get to. But uh, I like to do uh, from time to time like some cleans and presses. I like to put a decent amount of weight on there. Not a lot, you know, because I like to do like reps of like eight or something like that. And just, whew, you know, just, just to build that power, that explosive power, you know. Whew, you know. So uh, that's it, man. There's a couple more things I want to get. I, can't, I mean, actually, it's, <laughs> you should be laughing right now, honey. There's a few more things I want to get. Endless amount of things you want to get. Huh? Endless amount of things you want to get. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of neat little gimmicks out there. I, I just love it. So, I thought since we had all this time, I'd do this for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> what was that? That bird getting you? <laughs> <laughs>